You've told a guy how many pe- partners you've been with. Yeah, we're what all happened? human, so we're all we all have these, you know, needs and wants. And uh, I've I've always been honest. Anytime the topic comes up, which I always kind of hope it doesn't, with one partner, an Israeli guy that I dated for a while, mm-hmm. it turned into like a two week long argument. Oh God, what happened? Why? Because he just kept asking more and more questions. And Was more, the number high? That's why he wanted to know. Was it someone that you'd slept with? That he wanted to know more about that specific one. So what are you willing to it's say? It's like they don't no, want to know. Like I, I again, like I don't love talking about. Uh, body counts but I think it was because I was in a time in my life where Mm -hmm. and this is a little painful to talk about but like a lot of women experience this where they have they're navigating sexuality and they end up having a bad experience and then they jump back into that world and they're not really taking care of themselves and in some cases I think it's even self-harm so for me like I would say there was a time in my life where my body count was getting a little bit higher than I than I necessarily needed it to be. Mm-hmm. Um, so he kept prying and prying, and it just wasn't something I wanted to discuss, you know? Mm-hmm. So When you said you weren't taking care of yourself, how do you mean? I think Physically, that, emotionally, mentally, what do you mean? Well, I think when you, when you share your body with another person, mm-hmm. it takes a huge toll, uh, whether that's, I mean, a toll is not usually negative, but like it, it, it has an effect on you, mm-hmm. whether negative or positive. So I think a lot of women um, experiment with sexuality, and it becomes kind of uh, like a like a self-soothing kind of thing, even though it harms them. Mm. Like, you know how people cut themselves because it feels good in the moment, even though it's harming themselves? No. I so think, sex is like cutting yourself. So I think sex, <laughs> She's saying it like, sex um, in the wrong circumstances you, with the wrong people, mm, in the wrong mm. headspace. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Tori, go ahead. Uh, not that I was just going to say, like, in excess, I think is what she's trying to say. People, like, sex addiction or whatever, but amongst women. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's to comfort yourself. Are you always truthful with the guy you're with if he asks you? It, I would hope that no man asks me. But I think if it's a guy horrible. Did, if a guy did, I, say, how many boyfriends have you been? Like, if he, sure, he posed the sure. question in a tactful manner. No, you lie in that instance. You would. You There's would lie. no good number to give them. None. Am gotcha. I right or am I wrong? There, because what you Cause say the one, yeah, they think you're lying. They always think you're lying. They're gonna think it's five times as much as you say. Because a lot what of is sex. I've never heard of that before. That's <laughs> <laughs> my answer. Well, no hymen, like no, no diamond. What? No, what <laughs> say, say, say that? Hold on, I've never heard that. What was that? <laughs> no hymen, no diamond. <laughs> Explain that, Tori. F and F gang, city boys, we up. <laughs> oh my God. What does that mean? F and I'm kidding. From them. No, it's actually no not hymen, no them. diamond. It's something that they say overseas. Virginity. Diamond. Virginity. You're gonna give. Like, oh, you're not gonna give it up until you have a ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Anyway, Rolo, your thoughts on this body count uh, uh, disaster situation? One of the it. one of the lesser known uh, iron rules of Tomasi is never willingly uh, reveal your body as a guy. Anyways, mm-hmm. never never willingly reveal your it. body count because um, it will be used against you at some point. Um, mm-hmm. For the most part, it's uh, if a, if a woman's asking you that, you're in a different kind of you're you're playing a different game than than you're you're negotiating at that point rather than than uh, than having this the, the chemical reaction. I was saying as I was saying before, so it's not cool to reveal I, that to I, a girl. Well, no, but the, no. but it also you have to remember that it's an yeah. oppor- it is an opportunity. So when when somebody well, like when a woman asks you like how many how many girls have you been with, right? Mm-hmm. That's a shit test, is what that is. Is it's it? A, it what is. do you mean? It's a shit I, test. It's it's a it's a, a test of uh, are 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 we playing the game and do you know that we are playing the game? How many how many girls have you ever been with? And if you say if you give an actual number, yeah, that's like that's almost like the rich guy telling you he's rich, right? That's like Ooh. I'm an alpha, so here's here's what I've been with, you know, hundred girls. What happens if they blah, ask huh? you? Is it more than ten? Well, it, no. is it more than twenty? See, I no. ask if I feel Girls inadequate. Girls have asked that. It's an, oppo- it's an opportunity. You yeah, ask like, if you feel inadequate. Yeah, I, why would so, you ask if you feel inadequate? Well, absolutely. I, I what? A, yeah, I inadequate. How? Explain that. Like Tori. inexperienced. Like I want to hmm. know how many hoes I have to keep up with. You know <laughs> what, what does that I, even I, mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What does it mean? I'm like, if he's been with more than twenty women, yes. there's no way that I will perform like. Uh, better than them. There's more people to compare me to. It's more of an insecurity thing than it is ah, anything else. You're saying the more women a guy has been with, yeah. the more cars he's driven, the more experience he has, he's yeah. going to compare you to, to all them. the girls he's been yeah, with and good. then say, I, I actually disagree <laughs> I with yeah. you. It's I just one of my social anxieties. No, but I'm going to help you out here. That's where the question comes from. I'm going to help you out here because 
no one's gonna it's all about the connection with the person 100 yeah. percent. it's not about the actual I mean, sexual I got, activity i got over that belief okay i'm just saying i've certainly asked it before and if it was well actually it really wasn't that long ago that was probably why i, I ghosted a guy over it because his and number I, was too high yeah it scared me <laughs> really what yeah. happens if a number is too low would that scare you I, off I only asked because this guy had a blue check mark, really mm -hmm. well known, like high value man. I was like a musician. I was like, he's probably slept with a lot of women. Well, just to, so we're Enthusiastic. clear. Enthusiastic. What, like what, what's a, what do you consider a lot of women? More I, than 10? I more mean, than 50? More than 100? We just that, talked about yeah, this yesterday. Yeah, what number was, is like... I mean, it was like over... He was like, I don't know, maybe 100. So that's a high number to me. If yeah. you're going to say anything, like 20 is fine for me. I wouldn't be worried about that. Okay. I don't it's know. Also, Can I give your audience, your male audience, some advice? Yes, please. This is why you're here. If your girlfriend is asking you what your body count is, it's most likely that she just needs reassurance that you are into her and you like her body. So uh, the answer you need to give her is, I don't even remember anyone before you. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You're welcome. <laughs>